Really quickly, just wanted to go over the CMP service grade M1 Garand I uh, picked up from the gun shop last week. Ordered it back in February. Um, already, I could tell it's going to be a little different from the last time I purchased. Uh, this is the last uh, box I got with my order, which I prefer because it has all the padding and you can fit a couple rifles in there. Versus this new box is specifically built and dedicated for... CMP M1 Grand. Uh, this is completely sealed in, so you can't pop it out and put your own foam in there, but it's whatever, I guess. The box also includes a little rust and corrosion inhibitor, which uh, doesn't look like it did much for mine. It's got some pretty light rust and corrosion all over it. They uh, sent it to me completely bone dry. The last one I got, they sent it covered in CLP and it was really nicely lubricated, but I guess they stopped doing that. Uh, here's that for your muzzle and throat reading, as well as the date of the barrel, which is like a mirror, actually. It's really cool. And a few other little things they send you. Certificate and a manual, as well as an end block clip. But uh, that's my ammo. I actually just bought 200 rounds of that right there got my little bandolier loaded up ready to go but to the rifle cmp stock which i was pretty upset about because i really wanted something original but i assume that the original stock was probably just too beat up to send to me so i appreciate that i guess of course the chamber flag and then the year on this rifle was a june of 1943 springfield armory so I got what I wanted. The previous one I bought was, I believe, a 1953 Springfield Armory. So I'll just stick with this guy. If I ever find an original stock, I'll buy it online or something. But uh, I'll stick with this one until then. And again, it's completely dry. So sometimes this uh, action hangs up a little bit. Can't really do it with one hand, can I? Yeah. So I'll try and get some of the better pictures of the light rust I have on here. I believe it's all on the trigger guard and the internals. Yeah. So on the trigger itself, this video is not doing really good justice, but I guess you can kind of see it. The angle of the lighting right. Let's go ahead and take it apart real quick. And for disassembling this, I uh, find it best to do one of these numbers because it is very stiff. But you can't do it by your hand. So there is this piece. Again, completely dry, very light corrosion. I don't know if I already said it, but I'll try and include all the uh, serial numbers for all the parts and year of manufacture and all that good stuff in the description. And let's go deeper. As far as the stock, uh, the only real noticeable thing is that little knot there, which is fine. And then their good old CMP crest they include on it, as well as this uh, sling swivel is pretty stiff. Yeah, it's uh, going to need to be loosened up a little bit. Here is the rest of the action.
the elevation and widget windage they uh they are functional they click and everything this one actually still has some paint on it which is pretty cool but you can see there's some pretty serious pitting that happened here while it was in storage wherever it was a little bit of rust on there which looks like a newly manufactured piece get the best lighting here my yeah that's my uh, service grade CMP M1 Garand rifle <laughs>